Did you know that the iPhone XS is now six years old? And do you also know that the iPhone XS, six years later, is still supported by iOS 18? Yes, this device is still supported by iOS 18. That's crazy. And in today's video, I'm going to compare it to the newest and shiniest iPhone 16 Pro Max. So if you are excited to discover the differences between the oldest and the newest iPhone supported by iOS 18, let's get started. Before we start, drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel, that really, really helps me out. But the iPhone XS was launched 6 years ago, while the iPhone 16 Pro Max was just launched last month. And these two devices are actually very different. 6 years of iPhone evolution has brought us so many new changes. New materials, new design, new sizes, new displays, new processors, new technologies, everything is new on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And if you look at these phones, you can really tell that one is an evolution of the other. This has a triple camera system, while the iPhone XS only has two cameras. This is made of titanium, while the iPhone XS is made of stainless steel. This has a bigger display, 6.9 inches, while the iPhone XS Max at the time had a 6.3 or 6.4 inch display. I'm not sure. While the iPhone 16 Pro has currently 6.3 and the iPhone XS had a 5.7 inch display. So you can really tell the big changes on the sizes of the phones and of course on the hardware side. This has a flat edge design with titanium frames. This has a curved edge design with stainless steel. I do believe that the iPhone XS design is more comfortable and is so small that it's so easy to grab and use. This is in my opinion the perfect size for a phone and I love it, love it so so much. So if you love small phones, the iPhone XS was an incredible incredible feature. You can now get the iPhone 16 Pro not the Pro Max, the iPhone 16 Pro, but it will be a little bit bigger with bigger displays. 6.3 inches for a small phone is kind of getting too big. But again, this iPhone is more premium, but it's much more heavy. So if you get a Pro Max phone when compared to the XS Max, oh my God, the difference is kind of crazy. If you grab the iPhone 16 Pro and compare it to the iPhone XS, the difference in weight distribution, the weight in general is crazy. It's insane how different and how heavy the iPhone 16 Pro feels. It feels so premium in the hand. But six years later, the iPhone XS also still feels $800 worth, something that the Android phones can now replicate. Of course, in terms of exclusive features, the iPhone 16 Pro features so many more. Camera buttons, action buttons, 120 Hz, triple camera systems, USB-C, all of these are incredible changes if you are upgrading from the iPhone XS. And I do believe there will be lots of people coming from the iPhone XS to the newer iPhone 16 Pros. Yes, there are a subset of people that like to upgrade whenever their iPhones get outdated, get obsolete, stop getting iOS updates. And this is happening this year. This is the last year for the iPhone XS in terms of software support. So there will be lots of people jumping from the iPhone XS to the iPhone 16 Pros. Probably around the June timeline, but it will happen. So yes, the iPhone 16 Pro, it's an incredible, incredible upgrade. If you compare it to the iPhone XS, to the iPhone 11 and iPhone 12s. I have several video comparisons from the iPhone 16 Pro Max to older iPhones. Specifically on the channel right now, I have against the iPhone 12 Pro Max and 13 Pro Max, so go check it out. But if you put it side by side with the iPhone XS, then you will notice some changes. So let's go to it. Like I was telling you, in terms of design, iPhone XS feels heavier, feels more premium in the hand, and it has the titanium sides, which are a big advantage over the stainless steel ones. These get more dirty, and they get more fingerprints. While the iPhone 16 Pro gets none, it's super, super well maintained in terms of looks, super clean, and the titanium sides, in my opinion, are better. It's heavier, so be careful, and much bigger. It has a 6.3 inch display, while the iPhone XS only has a 5.7. <laughs> big, big difference. I only have the iPhone 16 Pro Max to compare to my iPhone XS, but this has a 6.9 inch display, and this has a 5.7. The differences are huge between these two displays. But not just on the size, this is 120Hz OLED capable and with a peak brightness of 2000 nits. While with the iPhone XS you have a 5.7 inch OLED display which at the time was incredible but I don't think it's even 1000 nits of peak brightness and it's not capable of 120Hz. So it's still 60Hz. This was an incredible display at the time and even in 2024 it's not bad. But if you compare it to the iPhone 16 Pro Max <laughs> the differences are insane. Of course, another big difference between these two phones is battery life. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has the best battery ever on a phone. While the iPhone XS Max, even the iPhone XS, do not have great batteries. 
they were small. And at the time, the iPhone was not known for having the best battery life out there. So if you are upgrading for a new iPhone 16 Pro or 16 Pro Max coming from the iPhone XS, expect insane battery gains. What I mean by insane, 200, 300% of battery increase. So if you are using your iPhone XS for one day, this will last you two days easily. If you are using your iPhone XS currently for half a day, one third of the day, so you are charging two to three times a day, this will last you easily one day and a half. So the iPhone 16 Pro is a huge improvement, not just on the hardware side in terms of titanium, in terms of looks, in terms of new features, but it's also on the battery life and performance. So yes, six years of difference makes a lot, a lot of change happen, especially on the battery side. And I think you will also love these exclusive features. The camera button and the action button will be very, very fun and novel to you. Because the iPhone XS has nothing of that. This is the very iOS 18 basic experience, while the iPhone 16 Pro will get you every single new feature, from Apple intelligence to every new camera feature. So it's very cool to have the newest iPhone on the newest software update. You get every new and experimental feature from Apple. This has the camera button and the action button. The action button is a mappable button that you can choose to have any type of shortcut or any type of action inside iOS. This is very important because for myself, I choose to map it as my ChatGPT button. So I can use this to call ChatGPT whenever I want to. Super cool because right now you don't have access to Apple intelligence. But whenever it comes out, you will have access it on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, 16 Pro Max, 15 Pro and 16 Pro and whatever iPhone 16 you have, while the iPhone XS does not have access to Apple intelligence and almost no new iOS 18 feature. So it's almost like a reskin for your iOS 17, but with no new iOS 18 features. Any of those email summaries, any of those tr instant translations, any of those photo editing features coming to iOS 18 on the iPhone 16s, they are not coming for your iPhone XS. So it's kind of a bummer, but yeah, what do you want? This is a six year old phone with a very, very slow processor. And talking about that processor, this has the A18 Pro, while the iPhone XS, I think it has the A12. Yeah, the A12, insane, A12. I mean, guys, we are in the A18 Pro, this is the A12. It's so insane that Apple can still stretch their software updates to these very old chips. Think about a phone from 2018 from Android manufacturers, Samsung, from Google. Think of it. Does it still have any type of software support? No. So the iPhone XS is unique in that matter. This phone is super well supported. The fact that it can still run iOS 18 is insane. But of course, if you compare it to the iPhone 16 Pro, there's almost no comparison possible because these are two very different devices. It's almost like comparing a Fiat 500 to a Ferrari. So the differences are insane. This is much more evolved and this is still very ancient, but although actually useful in 2024. But of course, this chip enables you AAA game titles, enables you Apple intelligence, gets you way more RAM, and of course, way better efficiency. So if you wanna play games, use your software without any type of bugs, because whenever you use iOS 18 on the iPhone XS, it can start to slow down, can start to stutter, you can feel the difference in speed between these two phones, just using iOS 18. So in this case, upgrading for the iPhone 16 Pro Max, 16 Pro, whatever, will be a big, big upgrade. Normally, whenever you compare two different speakers from newer iPhones, the difference won't be that big. But whenever you compare the differences between the newest iPhone and the oldest iPhone supported by iOS 18, you will notice the difference, of course. And these two are no different. Just take a listen. Insane, right? It's, it's so different now that you just put in perspective. If you compare the oldest iPhone on a generation and you compare the newest iPhone of a generation of iOS, six years, it's what it sets apart. Six years, five years, sometimes it's seven, we don't know yet. But if you compare the both extremes, the differences are actually huge. So although the smartphone industry has still stagnated, it's still very, very flat in terms of innovation, if you compare big time jumps, the differences are very, very noticeable. 
And in this case, between these two phones, it's totally, totally true. And now, the part that it seems like a joke, but it isn't, is the camera comparison. This has a triple camera system, a 40 megapixel main sensor, a 40 megapixel ultra wide, and a 12 megapixel 5x telephoto. While the iPhone XS, <laughs> I'm even laughing comparing these specs, has a 12 megapixel main sensor, and I think it's an 8 or 12 megapixel telephoto that is also only capable of 2x. So the differences between these two are huge. You have LiDAR sensors, you have incredible nighttime capabilities, you have an incredible, incredible ultrawide sensor that is not present on the iPhone XS, you have an incredible main sensor that is huge, the sensor here is insane, has natural bokeh, takes incredible 4K 60 video that is also capable of going 4K 120 frames per second, while the iPhone XS, <laughs> it has a very small 12 megapixel sensor that in normal lighting conditions can compete with the iPhone 16 Pro Max and a 2x telephoto that is useful for portrait photography in good lighting conditions it's also useful but no ultra wide so in terms of that focal range you're gone and there's no lidar so at nighttime photography nighttime portrait photography it's not available here so if you compare these two phones the jump in terms of cameras is huge but if you put normal lighting conditions side by side the differences are noticeable but not that big you really notice the big differences on nighttime photography and poorer lighting conditions. So at the end of the day, the cameras here are a huge jump. If you are jumping from the iPhone XS to the iPhone 16 Pro, oh my God, your social media is about to burst. And yeah, if you are watching this video and you are upgrading from the iPhone XS to the iPhone 16 Pro, congrats. Because that means that you hold up to your iPhone XS for six years, which is great for the value of a phone. You used your iPhone XS Pix maximum. You extracted its maximum value. And now you are ready to upgrade for the iPhone 16 Pro Max and 16 Pro, whatever you want. So yes, I need to congratulate you because most people give up half the way up. They have upgraded for the iPhone 13 Pro Max and now upgrading from the iPhone 16s. But if you held up to your iPhone XS until now, you did a great job. Your iPhone XS is currently not worth that much. So maybe $150, $200 maximum, you can put it through your iPhone 16 Pro Max. Buy one and enjoy it because you can hold it up for six years or more. Let's see what happens with the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So yes, this was a very, very fun comparison between the newest iPhone on iOS 18 and the oldest iPhone on iOS 18. iPhone XS, still usable in 2024. I would advise you to upgrade. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.